good morning students welcome back we have completed with the grammar part in the last portion and a st story related a beautiful story about a tree which was a magical tree now moving on to the next a new lesson that is lesson number 4 house mouse this lesson is about a pet animal which has which we keep it in a house and take care of it like everyone like to keep the pet in their house we will just e make them to eat we will think that way to keep that pet then we'll take we'll take the bath of the pet we'll give the vaccination we play with that pet we enjoy so much with the pet so this story relates to a pet which we love so much and take care of that pet this story was written by a great author that is ursula more williams in the year 19 april 1911 to 17 October 206, she was an English author of books for young children. A genius at night when she started writing. When she was 9 years old, she started writing. Williams published about 70 books over 70 years. So she was able to publish 70 books in 70 years. She had a strong love for nature and animals. And the books talked about heroic creatures facing the cruelties of the world. Her notable works include Jane Perry. Adventures of the Little Wooden Horse, Gobolin, The Witch's Cat, and The Good Little Christmas Tree. So, she, she in the age of nine, she was such a genius writer that she wrote so many stories, which was such a beautiful and a, and a knowledgeable, which we can get a knowledge out of that story. So, children, let's move to the story. Name of the story is House Moves, lesson number four. Let us read about a lady who gets an unusual pet. I told you. This story is about a pet in which one lady was there, she didn't like a pet. Unusual means she didn't like the pet to like take care and she was very afraid of the pet. Mrs. Melody had no children, no friends, no cat, no dog, no parrot. Mrs. Melody lived alone. When people said good morning to her, she scowled. When the postman brought her letters, she opened the door. The smallest crack to take them in and banged it shut down. Children. This was a story of a little a lady, okay, her name is Mrs. Melody and she didn't have children, she didn't have friends and any pet like cat, dog, parrot, etc. She lived alone in the house. When people said good morning to her, when anyone in neighbors used to say good morning to her, she used to look angry, angrily at them. Postman used to bring letters, okay, she didn't open the door, there was a small crack at the wall, she used to search. The, take the letter from the wall and bang the door like anything means bagging a door means closing the door suddenly and loudly she didn't even meet the postman and collect the letters all day long she cleaned her house wiped the windows polished the furniture and scrubbed the sink nobody ever came to see it so to, what she used to do she used to stay alone in the house she used to clean the house windows and even the furnitures and even the sink Sink with children where we wash our pots. She used to clean that sink and nobody came to see it because she didn't like it. Always a door will be locked. Underneath her sink there lived a little mouse. He was lonely too. He did not harm in the house. He didn't eat the cheese. He didn't make holes in the woodwork. He didn't leave dirty paw marks on the shelves. He found all his food out of doors in the lonely garden and only came indoors to get some company. So students, under the underneath means under the sink there was a mouse. But mouse was very, very nice, very good mouse. Even the mouse was very lonely, but mouse did not disturb Mrs. Melody at all. He, even the mouse did not eat the cheese. Mouse did not make holes anywhere. Mouse did not left any marks. The palm marks means its marks, its legs marks. It did not kept anywhere in the shelves. It didn't make the mess up of the home. But whatever, if mouse want to eat, what used to do? It used to go to the garden, lonely garden, alone, and eat there only. The mouse did not eat anything from the Mrs. Melody's house. Only for company, just the mouse used to come inside and sit under the sink. But Mrs. Melody did not like mice. When she caught the sight of him, she yelled as if a tiger had come into the kitchen. This was enough to frighten the mouse away, but the mouse did not stay away from long because he was so lonely. So he came back to Mrs. Melody and lived under the sink and tried to keep out of her way. 
Sometimes if Melody sees the mice, she was act she acted like as if she had a seen a tiger in the kitchen. Yelled means she used to cry loudly and she was very frightened of the pets. She used to cry so loudly that even the mouse used to run away and stay underneath the sink very lonely and calmly. She wanted to throw away the mouse from the house but but the mouse used to go and sit underneath the sink. It was not possible to make the mouse go away. One day Mrs. Melody spent the morning dusting everything in the house. Afterwards she washed the dusters and hanged them out side by side to dry on the cloth line in the garden. Then she emptied out the soapy water but dropped the soap when she bent to pick it she slipped and fell on the kitchen floor. So one day what she did? She was just dusting the home, cleaning the home. She washed the cloths, uh, dusted everything and she uh, cloth lines means where we hang the cloths. She started hanging the cloth side by side. Then whatever the dirty water was, soap water, she just cleaned the buckets and all. But accidentally the soap fell, fell in the floor there in the kitchen. And what happened? She just slipped down and she fell very badly because of the soap. The slippers were slipping and she, because of the soap, she fell down on the floor of the kitchen floor. The mouse was scared to find Mrs. Melody lying on the floor with her eyes shut. He ran and round and round her. He even tickled her chin with his sharp little nose but nothing would wake her up. So looking at this, the mouse was there in the house under the sink. The mouse saw that Mrs. Melody has lied down and her eyes are closed. Mrs. That mouse became very, very like he was very afraid like what happened to Mrs. Melody. Daily she used to work, she used to clean the house but today she is just falling on the floor. What happened? Miss, the mouse came out, it took a round of her. Even the mouse tried to touch her lightly and make her to talk or get up but mouse touched the Mrs. Melody's chin with a sharp little nose of the mouse but, but Mrs. Melody did not get up. She did not get up only because she has fallen down so badly that because of the soap, Mrs. Melody was slipped down and she got hurt. When Mrs. Melody did not wake up, she found she could not move. After so much trying also, Melody, Mrs. Melody did not wake up. It was difficult to wake up because she, as she was old, she has fell down so badly there. So students, remaining story. We will see it in the next class. Till now, read the story and if you have put the heading and if you have any new words from page number 54 and 55, you write, write down those words and buy the spellings. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.